This is a visualization about going to a smoothie shop with Jesus, talking about the fruits of the Spirit. This is Brooklyn Hannah. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So here we go. I'm going to the coffee shop and I've got Jesus with me. He puts his arm around me and he goes, it's going to be a great day, child of mine. I love you so much. I go, oh, I love you too, Jesus. And I just feel this warmth this coziness, this love, and it's like this love just flows throughout my whole body. Oh, there's nothing like it, the love of Jesus Christ. And as we walk into the smoothie shop, it's funky. I'm looking at the outside of the building and it's just full of orange and blue and purple. And I go, wow, this is interesting. He goes, isn't it, huh? I thought you'd like this one. And Jesus talk, took me to this um, smoothie shop that I've never been to, and it couldn't be any more exciting. And outside, they've got these orange umbrellas. It's a beautiful day. We're in Florida. I look up, and it's so sunny. There's barely a cloud in the sky. I can just see these blue sky. Oh, I love it. And of course, he opens the door for me, and I nod at him. I go, thank you, with a smile on my face, and I walk into this smoothie shop. And there's booths everywhere. There's little tables. People are sitting at their computers and working. There's a few people even reading their Bible together. And I just look around at the Christian smoothie shop. They've got Bible verses all over the wall. They've got one Bible verse that I really love. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That is just one of my favorites. And so as I look around, it's just painted on the wall, all these different colors. And on the wall, they've got pictures of just like clouds and wow, it's like this, whoever owns this must be a painter because on the wall, there's like these paintings of different clouds and different things. And it's just gorgeous. And as we walk up, we look and there's this huge menu and they've got everything you could ever want. And they named all their smoothies different names. Some are biblical. One's called God's Love. And I go, ooh, I want a little bit of that one. <laughs> and I look and it's made of mangoes and bananas and blueberries and strawberries and a little bit of honey. And I go, ooh, that one is sounding tasty to me. And they go, hello, how are you guys? Welcome. And I go, welcome. And you can just tell they're filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, I just love to be around people like that, that just spread the love, the joy. Their light is shining for Christ. And I say, well, I think I can't pass up God's love. And she goes, yep, that's one of our most popular ones. Um, people love the name, as well as just very tasty. And I'm just telling you right now, I'd say it's a popular one. And I go, perfect. I will do God's love. And they go, which one for you, Jesus? He goes, oh, oh, I just wanted to put you first, but okay, now I'm up. Mm, let's see. Well, I want to experience the same moment as you. So I'm going to do God's love as well. And so he orders the same thing. And we just look around the smoothie shop and they're back there blending. You can hear the blenders just mixing 100 miles an hour, it seems like. And there's little orders. We look over to the left and they've got a bunch of to-go orders. They're just pouring them out left and right. And it smells so good. It smells so fresh. And I can see a lady back there just chopping up bananas and peeling mangoes. And wow, it's just amazing. And as I listen, I can hear Christian music in the background. And I start dancing. And it's, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, place and fill the atmosphere. And as I'm dancing around and singing the song, I'm just talking, going, oh, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here too, in my heart. And I'm just thinking and talking about the lyrics of the, sa of the song. As they're back there making it, I'm just waiting patiently and practicing the fruit of the Spirit patience as I wait for them to make my smoothie. And I just see all the colors go into the blender. The yellow mango, the whitish yellowish banana, the pink red strawberries, the blue blueberries, all the beautiful colors that God created. So I put it in, they put some oat milk in there, 
Let me drizzle a little honey in there. Mm, by this time, my mouth's just watering. And they pour, they blend it up, and I just see all the colors mixed together. And they put it into this plastic cup, this clear see-through cup with a lid and a straw. And they go, there you go. And I go, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I take a sip and it's, oh, it's sweet, the tart, and also just very fruity with just so much flavor. I can even taste the ice in there. There's little ice chunks. It's nice and cold in my mouth. I can just feel this coldness go into my mouth, down my throat, and into my stomach. Mm-hmm, delicious. And they go, all right, where shall we sit? Jesus has got his, I've got mine. And he goes, how about this booth? This looks nice and comfy. I go, perfect. So I slide right in and he sits right next to me. Puts his arm around me and goes, how's that for a smoothie? I go, that is seriously the best smoothie I've ever had. And he goes, I know, right? I thought you'd like it. And he goes, okay. And I go, all right, let's have a chat, Jesus. What should we talk about today? And he goes, well, um, he looks up and he sees the Bible verse painted on the wall. He goes, how about the fruits of the spirit? He goes, you know, I call my little ones to act, to think like, and to just walk in the fruits of the spirit. How have you been doing with that? How have you been doing with love? Loving one another, whether it's your spouse, your kid, your employees, the people you that are working with you, strangers. Have you been treating everyone in love? And go, oh, I certainly try. At times I falter, you know, whether it's to my spouse or my kid when he acts up. And for that, I just ask for forgiveness. But yeah, Jesus, could you help me? act more in love towards others. And he goes, you got it. I can do that. Mm -hmm. Whatever you ask for, as long as it's in my will, I'll be working on it. <laughs> and I go, perfect. And he goes, joy. How about joy? Have you been practicing that one? And I go, you know, I really try to practice joy. I try to really shift my thinking from focusing on problems and negativity to joy, to focusing on your promises. And what you have to offer me. He goes, you're right. We can rejoice always. There's joy always to be found. And he's got this smile on his face, the sparkle in his eyes. It's just so fun. And we watch people walk in. Some lady has a Bible verse on her shirt. You can just tell a lot of Christians are walking in. Man, it's really cool. They've got this big jar of prayer requests. And you can write your prayer on a little card and put it on there. That's a good idea. And he goes, how about peace? Do you have peace? Yeah, and I go, Lord, every time I seek you every morning, I just feel so much peace. It just transcends all understanding and I just can't explain it. You are the God of peace and joy and hope. You are everything and it comes from you. I realize that now. He goes, mm-hmm, I'm the answer. We just gotta get more people to realize that, huh? Exactly. He goes, how about patience? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty patient. I've been working on that. That one hasn't been great for me. Um, I've had to work at that one, but in every area in work or my little son, I really try to practice patience. And he goes, kindness, I already know that you are a very kind person. And I go, yeah, I've always naturally had that a little bit. So thank you for just the gifts that you've given me. And, and he goes, mm-hmm goodness you've been practicing what is good what is right and i go yeah i mean i try i try to serve others bring others to you witness be the light and share my testimony of what you've done in my life and he goes yeah yeah i love when you share your testimony and i just look and it's a sunny day outside as we're just chatting and talking about all the fruits of the spirit he goes, how about faithfulness? And I go, you know, sometimes that wavers. Sometimes I doubt when I don't want to doubt. I wonder if, you know, I'm doing your calling sometimes, or I just wonder certain things. I'm not always faithful to what I say I'm going to be. I always think I'm going to do things and I don't follow through. Lord, can you help me with that? Just following through with being faithful, with seeking you every morning and not getting distracted by the world. 
Mm -hmm. I can do that. Gentleness, self-control. Yeah, ones I've struggled with the self-control, but that's okay. I'm working on that as well in areas of my life, such as what I eat and social media and just different areas where I need to have balance. Can you help me have balance? You bet. So we're just drinking these smoothies and I'm looking around and people are typing on their computers. People are concentrated, hard at work. And I just look around and people also have these smoothie bowls. Oh, those look delicious. They're these acai bowls and they're purple down below. They've got granola, strawberries, blueberries, and bananas on top. And I go, oh, ho, ho. next time I've got to try those. I love those. I've gotten so many of those. They're just so nourishing and delicious. Thank you, Father, for creating such tasty treats. And I look around and it's just gorgeous. They even have a Christmas tree up. It's like this big tree and it's just colored in white lights. And I love it. And all over the tree, they had Christian ornaments. They've got a church that's white and sparkly. They've got crosses all over the tree. It's just decorated in this white coloring. And at the top, they've got this big star. It's yellow and so, so pretty. And around the whole smoothie shop, they just got Christian signs, Bible verses painted. And you can just feel the Holy Spirit in this building. And as I'm sitting here, I'm just praying for this business, that it would be successful, that they would reach others for the meaning of Jesus Christ, that they can spread the hope and the love of Jesus. And I just love as I look around, I look at their menu and the names of their drinks, and I just love how they even created God and every single name of their drinks. How neat is that? What a great idea. This is really a great ministry, a smoothie shop to, you know, just witness about Christ. And I even look in my cup, I didn't even notice there's a Bible verse written on my cup. Wow, what a great, what a great, great idea. And I look around the cup and there's a few different Bible verses. And I go, wow, how did they think of that? And there's just Christian things all over the store. And it's talking about do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation with prayer and petition, present your request to God. And the grace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians. I just had this peace and I start talking to Jesus and I go, you know how easy it is to start thinking about tomorrow. To start worrying about what happened in the past, but mostly the future. You know, my mind goes to the future so much. It goes, yeah, you know, be in the present moment. Joy is to be found right where you are. You don't need something better. Jesus says, you don't need to worry about the what ifs and what could be and how you're going to work it out. You don't need to try to figure it out because I've got it figured out. Enjoy one moment at a time. Look at your surroundings. Spend time with family. Seek me, bring others to me. But enjoy this life. It's going to put... You're going to put so much stress on your mind and your heart as he touches my head and my heart. If you keep your mind in the future, trust me, tomorrow has worries of its own. Focus on today and the goodness of today. Not the fear, not the worry, not the stress, but the goodness, the blessings I've given you. Little child, I've blessed you so much. Focus on that. Be a testimony to other people of what I've done in your life. Not the complaints of what's not going well. This life is not easy. And I've walked it, I know. But pretty soon, you're going to be with me forever. And you're going to have perfect peace, perfect health, perfect life, perfect relationships. <laughs> you know, with me, you're going to be in a perfect place. And that's the hope. When we go, wow. And today, my day is just filled with hope. As I think about the rest of the day, I can just have a sense of peace, knowing the promises of what God says. 
And I'm so excited for that. Alrighty, that is the visualization. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for listening.